What up, y'all? Uh, so today I end up doing some y'all that I told myself that I would never actually do, especially as a person who like tech products and all this kind of stuff like that. So one thing y'all need to know about me before I get into the thing that I actually did that I told myself I would actually never do, and that is I never buy used tech products. I don't care if it's a camera, I don't care if it's a lens, I don't care if it's a computer, if it's a, a iPhone or whatever product, TV, you name it, anything that is an electronic, you will never see me actually buy until today. I end up going out there, man, I bought a M1 Mac Mini, uh, 8 gig, I actually bought the 8 gig RAM version. I know I tell you guys to buy the 16, but trust me, I bought the 8 for a reason because I only need 8 for what I'm actually buying it for. So CK, why, why the heck is buying a M1 Mac Mini that big of a deal? I'm gonna tell you why it's a big deal because I end up buying an Apple refurbished one. Now to me, this is a big step because I'm a little nervous about it because I'm like, man, is this bad boy gonna mess up? Is it gonna have something on it that can get into my network and like literally mess me up or something like that? So this is kind of a big deal because I'm buying something that literally somebody else had from a computer perspective, meaning that they may not be as careful with their tech products like I'm careful with my tech products, right? Man, what happens if this bad boy gets in house and it's, it's not as good as the one that I have that I bought brand new? So there's a lot of things going on in my head about this purchase. So is it gonna work? Is it not gonna work? Let's find out. <laughs> So it's been about two months now since I copped the M1 Mac Mini Wow. Low pro fresh in the house, 16 to 8 gigabytes. Tell me what's your style. I'm here to tell you if it's good, if it's not, then it's not worthwhile. Let's see, hold up, performance is great. Apple chips stand up right now. Let's go, let's go. No overheating, got grace the jigs up. Best desktop, I own the glow up. Let's get into this video and complete our two month doc order routine checkup. <laughs> I'm back with these bars, shining through these shadows. Hit that like button and subscribe right now while I spit bar mouth in stereo. <laughs> What up, y'all? Today is the day I'm supposed to be getting in my M1 Mac Mini that's literally going to be going on this setup that you guys see right over here. There's going to be a whole lot coming for that space right there in particular, but more on that a little bit later. Hold on. Let me get the... Let me get this all set up. All right, there we go. All right, sit in my chair real quick. Now, I wanted to talk with y'all real quick, man, just about why I'm even getting this M1 Mac Mini, right? So I already got one over here. Y'all already seen countless amounts of videos and different things like that about it. So I figured I need to get another one because I'm actually planning a whole gaming setup. And this is gonna be mainly for like my live streams, right? Because a lot of times, man, some of the things that you guys don't know is literally, hold on real quick. Let me grab my drink, I'm thirsty. Getting thirsty over here. All right, so one of the things that y'all don't realize is, man, I'm a huge gamer, man. I play all types of games. God of War is my second favorite game. Zelda is always my first game, of best favorite game of all time. So I just wanted to get like a whole new setup over here. So I'm literally, it is, what is today's date? Where's my phone at? Let me grab my phone real quick. Let's see, today's date, y'all. It is da -da 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 -da. July 19th. My Mac Mini is supposed to be here. I'm waiting on the truck as we speak. Okay, right now says out for delivery. Yo, these juices, these are the Boat Farm, Boathouse Farm juices. So fire. Highly recommend you. I mean, I'm trying to get healthy over here. We got this here. So this is a, a hub that I've been promoting, man, on the channel. Uh, there's a website called theapplenest.com. Highly, highly recommend. Allows you to put a SATA SSD hard drive right into this system. And you can plug it right into the back of your system. Let me show you what it looks like uh, so you guys can have a, a better idea. So this is basically what it's going to look like right here. So you have like this dock here, but on the inside of that is actually my hard drive to my Mac mini that you guys see right here. I'll link the website, it's their direct link for you guys down in the description section below. Uh, you guys have been telling me that you guys have been enjoying it ever since that I've been recommending it to you guys. So, yo, maybe shout out to y'all for, for listening to what your boy, I, I, be, I be giving y'all some dope information every now and then. I'm gonna check back in with you guys uh, here in a second and uh, I'm gonna show you guys the setup. Yo, 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 so y'all, it is about four, 50, it's about 4.50, 5 o'clock-ish, somewhere around that time frame, but 
Shout out to UPS. They have finally, finally delivered my stuff, my package. This bad boy right here. Well, you know, not this one. I, I kind of already had this one. I told you guys, if you ain't got this for your Mac Mini, I don't know what you're doing. Link for it is down in the description section below. But this is what we're here for. This bad boy right here. This is the Mac Mini, M1 Mac Mini. Yeah, man, uh, finally it came in. I'm going to be doing a bunch of stuff, setting this all up, showing you guys all of that. I ain't about to do no unboxing because y'all have already seen the unboxing. If you haven't, then go check out one of my older videos. Link down in the description section below. But anyway, you know what I mean? I'm ready. I'm ready to get this bad boy up and going so that way I can do some more content, some more fire stuff. <sighs> I'm nervous on the fact that it's a refurbished one. Now, y'all already know, man. I do not like buying tech that is used, refurbished, whatever you want to call it. It ain't, it ain't really my stilo. It ain't how I get down with my tech just because I don't know how other people be keeping up with their tech. And I ain't trying to be out here with somebody's Mac Mini that they done slammed down or whatever. And then Apple out here selling me, you know, old parts and new bodies. So, but yeah, but anyway, I'm going to let you guys know how this whole thing turn out. And I'm going to get it set up, play with it a little bit. And, uh, you know, let's, let's just see how it go. Mike, Mike, one, two, what is this? Let's go ahead and sit down, man, and just talk about my experience with the uh, me buying my first refurbished M1 Mac Mini from Apple, and if it was actually worth it. But before we actually get all into that, I want you guys to comment down below right now how many likes are on this video at the time of you guys are watching it right now. And if you guys do, I have something funny that I wanna show you guys a little later in this video, so definitely make sure you guys keep watching for that. Now, the first thing that I wanna, uh oh, wait a minute, the package is here? Is the package here i'm actually waiting on a package for my stream and stuff so i'm i'm trying to see if the package is here i don't i don't think it's here yet all right so the very first thing i want to talk about is the packaging of this box right here so when it comes to actual packaging you guys can see right here that it's a little it's a little different than the original package now the box size obviously this is the this is the refurbished one right here that you guys can see and this is the retail packaging one that you guys can see right here so refurbished non refurbished now when it comes to actual box sizes obviously it's literally going to be the exact same apple does not send refurbished items in the same like design boxes as the non refurbished retail ones now on the very front of this one guys you can see that it just says mac mini and then right underneath here in small writing it says apple certified refurbished now on the normal retail packaging it does look a little bit more inviting with the photo of the mac mini here on the front and then on the sides you also have mac mini here and then you also have mac mini right here as well i mean at the end of the day it's not a big deal when it comes to the packaging but what is a big deal are there any scratches or damages to my machine and does it run smoothly so let's go ahead and get all into that now when i actually first took the refurbished one out of the box that you guys can see right here honestly the experience was literally the exact same the cable is repackaged in the cardboard like wrapping and you still get the apple stickers and to me what i actually liked most was when i actually pulled out the mac mini itself the back of the ports were also covered as well with the black sticker for protection of the ports just like the non-refurbished one was now after that i did a thorough and i mean a thorough inspection just to see if there was any scratches dents or anything like that on it and when i tell y'all it was in pristine condition and to be real with y'all man i feel like apple wouldn't really resell something like this if it is not going to be up to the apple standards to put back out there in the marketplace but to get that self-reassurance is definitely a plus for sure but see kid what happened when you actually turned it on though no. was it already logged in to like a guest account or did you get the full setup for fresh experience like you get with any other mac machine well let's talk about that before actually buying i was curious about this too because for some reason i had this vibe or this mindset of a refurbished machine is already going to be logged in into a guest account and you got to do all of the setup yourself but that really wasn't the case with this one so when i actually first booted this thing up literally it walked me through the entire initial setup from connecting my wi-fi to setting up siri uh logging into my apple id account and just a bunch bunch of other things that you do with the initial setup like it literally is the same process that i experienced when buying my first m1 mac mini that i got here on my desk setup that you guys have seen in other videos but that's cool sick kid but how does it perform was it sluggish uh was it slow did you notice anything that was wrong with it from a performance perspective honestly guys no now i can't front the very first thing i did and i ain't gonna lie to you i went to the about this mac to make sure that mine was actually an m1 machine 
and that it had the configuration that I paid for, which was the eight gig RAM option, eight core CPU and eight core GPU. So I had to make sure what I got was what I got and that Apple went out here trying to finesse your boy. And Apple didn't hit your boy with those switch rules, but that wasn't the case at all, man. Now this machine that I picked up, man, is gonna be used for my live streaming. Shameless plug right here, I'm gonna be going live a whole lot more here on the channel. And now that I have the setup how I actually want it, I can actually start up my weekly live streaming show that I used to do back in the day. And I'm also gonna be letting you guys into my live gaming session. So this is the main reason why I picked this machine up to begin with and was like, let's go ahead and try a refurbished unit and I can also create some content around it. So. I did just that. Plus, it saved your boy some money. It's a win-win situation for me. So I've done a live stream on it. I've also hooked my PS5 up on it to record a lot of my gameplay. Also done some casual web browsing, some lightweight editing on it because this is not gonna be the machine for, for that I have my M1 Mac Mini over here. That's my heavy workload one. So after doing all of this on this machine, man, I have to say this refurbished one is the best thing that I was actually able to purchase, especially for the price, which is 589 bucks refurbished versus paying $700 for a brand new one. Now, see kid, there has to be something that you didn't like about this experience, right? Yes, there was. Let's go ahead and talk about that. So the only issue that I have with Apple's refurbished products is how you freaking find them on their website. Like they don't make it easy at all to find their refurbished products on their main website. So I legit had to do a Google search and just type in Apple refurbished products on Google and it just showed up right there and it will take you to Apple's refurbished site to see what they actually have. So Apple, put that up in your header, man, or something. So it's just a whole lot easier for people to buy. But for you guys, link for it is right down in the description section below. Also, just FYI, if you guys are wondering, yes, you can still return refurbished products the exact same way that you can with non-refurbished products. Either you can do it in store, which is gonna get you guys your refund a whole lot faster, or you guys can just start the return online, ship it back to them via FedEx, and you're good to go. So CK, having the experience of a refurbished M1 Mac Mini or just a refurbished unit from Apple, would you actually recommend that I buy a refurbished unit? Here's my answer to that, guys. Absolutely, freaking lutely You know me, I'm all about saving y'all some money. And to me, this is a come up and a way to go. But let me tell you how you guys can actually save even more money. So check this out. So I bought the lowest storage option, which is a 256 gigabyte version, because instead of me spending $400 to $800 with Apple just to get one to two terabyte of storage, Here's what you guys can do. Buy the 256 gig storage option from Apple first, right? This is gonna get you guys, this is gonna get you guys the unit right here at the lowest possible cost. Then instead of actually spending $400 to $800 for one to two terabytes of storage with Apple, save that money and buy this setup right here for way cheaper on the applenest.com, which I'll have linked for you guys down below. So for just $269, you get the USB-C hub and the SSD drive to expand your storage to more than one terabyte of storage. Save you guys 131 to 531 dollars like come on man say y'all some money let's go so all you guys have to do is when you guys get it you literally just slide in the ssd into the bottom of the unit and plug the usb-c cable that comes with it into the back of your Mac mini. I break it all down on how easy it is to set this thing up in my don't buy a M1 Mac mini without knowing this first video, which I'll link for that down in the description section below, as well as right up here on the card. You guys can click on that little eye icon and you can start watching that right after this video. Then with the money that you guys save, we're picking this bad boy up right here. You guys can get a mouse and a keyboard all for the exact same price that it's gonna cost you guys if you buy the one to two terabyte storage from Apple. So trust me, get the USB-C hub hard drive enclosure with the SSD and it will save you guys so much money back into your pocket. So yes, y'all, I would highly recommend you guys buy refurbished Apple products and save a couple coins. Oh, I almost forgot something that I wanted to share with y'all that I thought was freaking hilarious. So check this out, right? So I went to Best Buy yesterday and I picked up the same keyboard and the mouse combo that I was telling you guys about. It's charging over there somewhere, but literally they sell an open box Intel based Mac mini that has an i3 processor in it for $600. When I saw this, y'all, I was like, Best Buy, y'all need y'all buzz wolf for this, for trying to sell this to people. Especially when I literally just bought an M1 Mac Mini for $589, which performance-wise is gonna run circles around Intel-based Macs. So, I just thought it was actually funny, man, but beware of any of those deals that are out there because these companies be out here trying to take advantage of the people who are not informed. But luckily for y'all, 
you already hit that subscribe button and you guys are subscribed to the channel so you will know how to buy your tech products in the future so links for everything is down in the description section below so you guys can save y'all some money like i did now don't forget to tell me how many likes is on this video at the time of you guys are watching it thanks again for watching see y'all in the next one squad <laughs>